Hello, this is Judge Tom from AskTheJudge.info, and we're going to take a few moments today to discuss a re recent case that was filed by a high school student in Arkansas against her school district. And the basis of the lawsuit is discrimination. Uh, it was filed in July of this year. Kim Wimberly is the student. She was an 18-year-old senior at McGehee High School in Arkansas. She was scheduled to graduate this past May. Uh, she earned over the course of her four years at the high school the highest GPA of all of the students. Uh, and this included taking honors classes and advanced placement classes. Uh, she also had a child when she was a junior a year ago. Uh, as a, an award for her GPA, uh, the school told her that she would be the class valedictorian uh, on graduation day on May 13th. Uh, the school had even prepared a press release to share this accomplishment and the announcement with Kim's uh, community. However, within two days, uh, word got around that Kim was going to be the valedictorian and there was some, uh, some comments, some discu discussion about what a mess this would create. Uh, so the principal, two days after Mar uh, Kim was told about this, uh, the principal called Kim's mother and told her that for the first time the school changed its policy and was going to appoint a co-valedictorian. Uh, Kim is an African-American student. They, the school decided to appoint a white student who had a lower GPA as to share the valedictorian status with Kim. Kim and her mother tried uh, unsuccessfully to appeal this decision by the school uh, to the school board. Uh, it, it didn't work. They weren't granted a hearing or any due process to challenge this decision. The last African American um, valedictorian at the school was 20 years ago, a little over in 1989. So Kim and her mom filed a lawsuit uh, in July of this year against the school district uh, challenging under the 14th Amendment the decision uh, claiming it's a violation of her uh, equal protection rights under the 14th Amendment. So ask the judge, we'll follow this case, we'll keep you posted on the outcome. Let me turn to Sierra, uh, one of our interns for a moment, and just ask Sierra what your thoughts or comments are about this particular case. I think that this case shows that uh, racism and discrimination are real issues and that they're still out there and prevalent and that they should be challenged. Um, I think that a lot of us are under the impression that we hit a point in the 1960s where Martin Luther King had a dream and then all of a sudden racism sort of died out and we all were made entirely equal in the minds of everyone else. And I think that's not always been the case and this case shows that discrimination is still out there and I think in this instance um, in which the school board doesn't seem to have ground to stand on to prove that they were not discriminating against Kimberly that um, as a result it should be challenged these sorts of things need to be brought to the attention of of the community and dealt with in a manner um, to show that this is unacceptable and that profiling and that sort of thing is entirely unacceptable to improve the nation as a whole and the nation's schools in that you know the understanding that discrimination is out there but it's not okay. Thank you Sierra. Mary did you have any comments or anything you'd like to add? Even if she was discriminated because of her child and not because she was African American, it's still discrimination in a way. And it's completely unacceptable and should not be in our country at all. And it's completely unacceptable. Thank you. That's a good point, Mary, and that's one that does apply. The Federal Pregnancy Discrimination Act applies to teen mothers as well as adults and prohibits discrimination in the workplace and elsewhere uh, because of just that physical state. Thank you, Mary, and we thank all of you for tuning in, and thanks for asking the judge.